Uh, we've been growing cotton out here for 40 years, and so uh, half of that has probably been com conventional, and the last 20 years has been with uh, biotech. Uh, and, and today, uh, the seed industry, the agricultural genetics industry, is the primary cash generator for uh, what used to be a chemical company, the DuPont Company. Uh, today, you drive out there, the whole crop spraying industry is gone from Arizona. You can't find a crop sprayer these days because we control those insects today by genetically engineering the cotton plant. It's totally within 15 years We've seen the industry just turn upside down. I work for a, a major manufacturer of agricultural chemicals. We used to sell an insecticide here on cotton at, and we sold about $3 million a year. And the BT gene in the cotton has taken our sales to zero. So it has a tremendous impact, or can have a tremendous impact on the economics of, of farming. Absolutely, at the very beginning it was new, uh, so we had to do our research and find out exactly what this was, to make sure it was safe. So, uh, you know, once we found out the process of how they do this and what the uh, BT protein is, uh, we uh, moved forward with it, uh, as well as with the Roundup component as well. Uh, it just made perfect sense. Uh, it was scientifically sound and safe, and so we moved forward with it. First of all, um, I've seen uh, genetically modified crops for 20 years now, and um, major crops across the United States, corn, soybeans, cotton, and all of those go into the food channel in one way or another. And I have yet to see any negative effects from that. BT stands for Bacillus thuringiensis, uh, and, and it produces a toxin that kills insects. So one of the early hot topics in biotech was, let's see if we can clone that gene from Bacillus thuringiensis into a plant, and that plant will become resistant to insects, because any insect that eats the leaf that's making the toxin will die. And in fact, it, it was done and it works really great. So the farmers that buy this stuff have better yields and make more money but then the public has issues with it. So now with the BT, which controls the insects, uh, which is a, a natural protein that has been registered for organics for 50 years, uh, with that component, we don't have to spray it all for, be, for uh, pink bollworms. And as the weeds, for the weeds, uh, we spray three or four times with Roundup, a product anybody can go into Walmart and purchase and that controls our weeds and it doesn't harm the cotton. Not only have we reduced considerably the amount of chemicals we're applying, but we're using less diesel uh, for cultivating and less labor for hoe crews. And it's really improved uh, the environment out here and lessened our footprint, our economical or environmental footprint uh, on the farm and has been an economic advantage as well. I can't see the day that, that that'll be your only option, uh, but the day is nearly here that anything that has um, a, a corn product, a soybean product, or a cotton product in it has some amount of GMO because it's the only economical way for them to farm currently.